and may the odds ever be in your favor. Oh wait, it's not that movie, is it? Hey Alamo City Movie Talk fans, my name is Ryan D, a Canola Ryan 680, and this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie goers all over the world. Hope you didn't get lost in the maze as much as I did. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Maze Runner, the death cure. That's right, the death cure. Is it really a cure? Has it happened already? Is it there all along? We shall find out. Alrighty guys, let's get to it. So, I didn't come from the book side of the, of the movies guys, so I mean, this is just coming from a movie standpoint. And the first one, The Maze Runner, actually made me pretty good. I mean, as you can tell, I'm actually trying to be a Maze Runner at the moment, even though it's not really a, a Maze Runner satchel, I guess you could say. Throughout the whole trilogy, it's been pretty good, I mean, so far. The first one got me going, you know, it was a really good, unique film, I felt. And the second one just kind of, it was kind of setting it up for a sequel. Like, okay, hey guys, this is this movie, you know, we're getting ready for the next one, pretty much. And this third one, this is directed by West Ball. Now, West Ball has been there for the whole trilogy, guys. He's been there from day one, from the Maze Runner, the first one, onto the Scorch Trials, and the Maze Runner, the Death Cure. Now, Dylan O'Brien, man. Now, Dylan O'Brien, he's, you know, he hasn't really had a big role besides this lead role, guys. And, um... From the most part, I really did enjoy him as the Maze Runner. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I loved him as Thomas. Even though I didn't read the books, I really did enjoy him as uh, as Thomas. I really did enjoy him as that character. I loved it too, as you could tell, I'm trying to be him. Overall, I mean, this film really showed so much chemistry throughout the movie. A lot of great stunts, a lot of great explosions. I really did love the acting in this movie. But though, when I, you know, after the movie was over, I was just like, you know, there was a lot of scenes that I kind of want to edit out. It's coming out at two hours, 22 minutes. And you know, this movie was just, it was, it was pretty good. I really did, I really did overall enjoy it. It just felt like they could have cut down probably like, uh, probably like 30, 30, 40 minutes out of it. And you know, overall, I mean, I felt like, you know, this movie, I wanted it to be great. I wanted it to be awesome. But to me, it really wasn't. Uh, but overall, the climax of the movie failed for me. The ending was really good and, and poetic, I guess you could say. And it was, you know, it left me on a good standpoint. I was just like, all right, this is awesome ending movie, great. Character development on Thomas was really good though. And I'm a sucker for history movies, guys. When I mean history movies, I mean trilogies. I mean sagas. I mean movie by movie by movie and the trials it does to people. Physically, emotionally, everything. I want the whole enchilada. I'm here in Texas, by the way, San Antonio. Uh, what they needed, I mean, I felt like I wanted more, I wanted, I wanted more Thomas, and we did get more Thomas, but it wasn't as, I don't know, I just, I wanted something out of the ordinary, I wanted a risk, and I felt like the movie didn't, just didn't do it for me. The CGI wasn't too bad, I actually loved the CGI, actually it was on point, which is surprisingly, and uh, was this the film we deserved? Was, uh, yes, I want to say yes and no, I'm, I'm real, I'm real skeptical, I'm still skeptical on this just because I'm just thinking about it over and over again, but you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, was this the film we deserved, yes it was, rate one out of ten, I'm gonna have to give this a solid six, why, because I, the Maze Runner to me was an eight, that's right, an eight, the first Maze Runner got me hooked up right away, me and my fiance Angela watched him over the weekend, uh, would I recommend this movie? I would say for all the Maze Runner fans, for all the moviegoers, for all the people that love uh, that love the books, go check out this movie, guys. Check it out at a theater near you all over the world. Would I buy this movie? I'm going to buy the whole trilogy. Yep, that, that's right. I said it. Overall, I really did enjoy this movie, guys. Moviegoers, if you have not seen the first one or the second one, do not go see this movie because you will be lost. It is not one of those movies where you can just go into it start from like Star Wars or anything like that, just go into it from episode four, or in this case, a start on three. You cannot do that, guys, sorry about that. Please check out one and two, you can check it out, uh, rent it out on iTunes. Alrighty guys, as always, I am your host, Ryan D, it can hold the Ryan 680, and this is Alamo City Movie Talk, guys. You have officially been reviewed. Maze Runner.